this is going to make economists sound even worse. Um, <laughs> but I, you know, in undergraduate econ, we studied the engineering labor market, and it is cyclical. And you, you basically have an, you have uh, an oversupply of engineer graduates. They drag down wages and they have a hard time finding a job. People don't major in engineering. You then have an undersupply of engineering. They come out with banger jobs. They're all employed. They get paid a ton of money. A bunch <laughs> of people move into the engineering major because all these kids have great jobs. And it's this like cyclical path. Really? Of, yeah. I mean, we studied it in an undergraduate econ class. Wow. And, uh, that can also be happening yeah. because I wouldn't be know, surprised. Not only have we seen massive pushes for STEM, we also have done it, you know, geared around an industry that is, you know, notoriously fickle in a lot of its hiring, um, and is more prone to layoffs and more sensitive to market conditions, um, and don't have things like revenue. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, seriously, <laughs> you know, and they and they rely on like, if you you know, if you are a VC funded firm, and you've never had positive revenue, and you've got an oversupply of engineering students or or computer science students, that will affect the labor market, regardless of whether or not you're using AI in your workplace or not. So I'm going to say my engineering thing, and then also say, like, I don't have any data that that is what is happening right now. It is one thing that could be happening. I, yeah. So uh, the optimist part of this, which is going to be a little bit tough because. <laughs> a little strained. A little strained because we're talking about a group that might be a leading indicator of a worsening economic situation unfolding slowly in front of our eyes. Yeah, there's not a ton to celebrate there. So why don't we just huddle for a couple minutes and think of the bright side. <laughs>